you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, unusually, I have a lot of items on the executive session list tonight that are uh, in my report. Um, in addition to the bond issue we just added, I think we should also probably add the mortgage property to discuss that as well. Is that, is that okay, Don? I mean, we have Durbin on executive session. This is one of the neighbors who has also made uh, complaints about their water issues. Mortgage, mortgage water issues. Oh, I'm sorry. So if we could add that one. And there's a number of other items. I just provided some brief updates in my report. Um, I did go up to Rose Avenue, just in the area, and it looks like that lot that was in dispute is up for sale. I mean, it has a sign in front of it, that last lot there. So I'm not sure if we're just going to have face reality here to, in um, a few months or not. The one that they you know, weren't going to develop until we figured it out. I saw a sign in the front yard. You know, that little um, lot designated, you could buy that particular lot. Um, I don't know, Don, if the neighbors have complained. Obviously, I, I could drive right through with the way the Jersey barriers are. They may be some, there is the road close sign. I was up there for a little while just looking around. I didn't see any traffic. Um, What's the problem? Enough together? Are they too far apart? Are not enough of them? Well, it's just the way our, the way the, um, well, Mr. Muhammad owns there, that he owns one side of the road where we put the one jersey barrier, and then we Cecil put the other on the end of our property. So there's that opening. Anybody that cuts through there really goes on Mr. Muhammad's property. Yes. Can we put enough on the side base there? Well, I'm not sure. Linda's not here tonight. Right, so I'm not sure. She would be the one to know how much that's being abused at all. But we can find out and see if that's an issue. But um, I just was in the area, so I drove through and stopped and see what was going on. Um, Cindy, I can speak to your question. If we were to uh, put a delineator uh, down the middle of that road, it would restrict uh, Mr. Muhammad's ability to uh, turn in and out of his driveway. Yeah, that's that's the ongoing dilemma with this whole. It would situation. have to be something real thin. That might be able to take away well, from Well, the, the uh, property line is a salt. It's uh, center line of the road. Center line of the road, yes. So should, that's, that's the dilemma we face. Um, the engineer has proposed a solution, and I, again, at some point, we'll just, we're going to have to figure out what the final solution is up the there. The status right now is just moving. Yeah, the only thing different that I know, I, I think that last lot bill is, again, one of the home sites that they have a sign on now. That a potential home site you can purchase. And they are starting to build closer to that connection. Um, the other issue that is not part of the uh, myriad of issues in executive session is just Coleman Road. We prepared an easement agreement um, for that property. We, Dan, in my understanding, I think we just put in one dollar. There was, was there, the people agree to that? To the easement? Yeah. She signed it today. Oh, did she? Great. She signed it today. I, I, I asked it to record it, so it'll be recorded probably at the center of the dollar. No, <laughs> all right, not a problem. That was, um, Gateway prepared everything, gave us the information to do the easement, and uh, to make sure that we could cut into that property when they're fixed school. And so that's all there, too. So that's great. So we're set for the emergency repair then. Work has started. That's, yeah, yeah we have the easement. The easement and everything. Yes. Right. Everything's, everything's in line now. Yep. Now, just a quick, so everybody knows uh, that repair, should it be done like in maybe two to three weeks, are we talking? Yeah, with, it, at the pre-construction meeting, Bauer thought there was two weeks worth of work on the wall and probably work the restoration. So I'd say three weeks is the thing. Two to three weeks, it should be in pretty good shape. They were up there to talk to vendors and everybody along there knows what's going on down here. Okay, sounds good. John, one other thing I'd like to ask you too. Um, with the Supreme Court ruling in our gas and oil ordinance, would you be able to look into in the next month for us or so? just what we might have to change in our ordinance so that it lines up with the Supreme Court and then we can set up a hearing date after that sometime. Well, I can. I think that, you know, yeah, I, I mean, I could draft something for the board's review. Obviously, we should probably have some time between that and a hearing so the board can comment so they can decide whether to put that one out for advertising <coughs> um, for public hearing. Um, so that'll probably drag. And it won't be done by July. We can have something for you to look at, but I think the process is probably August or September. Exactly. Just have some idea of what we might have to change in it to, to make it line up. That's fine. And then we'll be able to take a lot of comments at that time, too, down the road. Okay. Just so we start working on it a little bit. And I, I expect the Commonwealth Court may rule this summer in July. They, the, the four different... Uh, yes. One of them being what the PUC is going to do and, and whether our ordinance could actually be challenged. 
things like that. Okay, thank you. Uh, next is 